Hey, you guys, I want to talk to you about something that is a precious, important commodity in our lives. It's called joy. In Nehemiah, it says the joy of the Lord is our strength. And in Philippians 4.4, 4, Paul said, rejoice. That's live in the joy realm and push the reset button on it constantly. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I will say rejoice. Sometimes in the circumstances of life, there's this, sometimes it's the only place. It's like, thank you, God, my name's written in heaven. Thank you, God, I'm saved. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus. You know, no matter what ocean of challenge or trial is around you, I would think the Christians that were drowning and freezing in the, the Titanic disaster, in those last fading moments, there were no joys of being in a luxury liner. There were no joys of being on the maiden voyage. There was no joy of the possibility of getting to the shore to see their loved ones. But yet, thank you, God, the joy of the Lord is my strength. I may sound a little bit morbid to you, but I recently was with a, f a friend from our church, a really great man of God, and he was breathing his last breaths. His little young boy got up on and read him scriptures, and his wife just quietly wept, and his mother was there. And I really miss him. But as things were just closing too early in his life, the morbidity of it was far outweighed by the joy of knowing that to be absent from the body, he was going to be present with the Lord. And I've seen this on so many people. I think I have, I've done probably over a thousand funerals in the years I've been a pastor. I've been my, I've buried my own parents, you know, so I know a bit of where I'm coming from with that. I've been through some trials. I've been in war zones, earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes, floods. You know, I've walked side by side with count, countless cancer cases, and I've seen conflicts between husband and wife, between kids and parents, between siblings. But the joy of the Lord is our strength. That's the anchoring settled thing that is available to every person. I, I read about a musician I really like, a British uh, uh, rock musician. And he says, you know, when he's, he's, he's like, he, he goes between Buddhism and Christianity. So I don't really understand that exactly. But he, he said that when he's in pain, he's a Christian. I thought, wow, that's interesting. I'd like to have a conversation with him about it to get a little bit more understanding of what he means by it. You know, like, I guess he something appeals to him with the Buddhist framework of sort of Zen and being calm and meditating and, you know, those types of things. But then when I'm in pain, I'm a Christian. Like, because, why? Because Jesus is the chief physician. I mean, I can't speak for that guy, but that made me think about what he said, which is, yeah, um, we can go to God in our last breath. Even on the Titanic, I have been told they played hymns all the way till the capsizing and the sinking. And people, you know, can be belittling of that, but it's not something to belittle. It's, well, it's a crutch for some religious people, and I... You could have that if you want it. Well, thank you. And I do take it because I do want it, but you need it. <laughs> and it's available to you. And just in case when you need it, there's this joy that, like, and when Paul wrote this, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. He wasn't in a ideal circumstance, when he wrote the book of Philippians, history says that he was in a 
jail cell in Rome, and Rome was harsh. It wasn't like a plush country club prison. They were cruel. Remember, watch the Gladiator movie. They were cruel. It was harsh, nasty. And he's saying, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. So we just need to thank God. Like, I thank God when I'm in a good place. Thank God when things are rough. Thank God when I get a breakthrough. And thank God when there's a challenge. I, because God, you, are, you're, you bring joy to me. And I, I have that conviction that you're going to see me through and that you're going to help me out because you're a very present help in time of need. Amen.